I will never also do anything if my wife said no. She knows me. I won't do it. I'll just keep quiet. I'll be watching. Unless she comes and says, go ahead. Then immediately say, go ahead. I tell you, it will, it will be so faster than anything. If you are not very careful, I can even complete it within the next six or five months. That is the problem the Ghanaian church is facing. That's why, have you seen our churches? The reason why the churches cannot flourish. So that is a problem. And that is what we call obsession. And so, if your wife say, let's do this, and then you say, no, no. Guess what? Who is the problem? And you keep praying every day, each and every day. Praying for what? Praying every morning you pray, God, do, let's do this. Nothing is going to happen. It will never happen. And that is why we need forgiveness for our sins. But, but we also need deliverance from the power of sin. You see, the former touches, you see, the blood, the blood, the blood. Touches the conscience. Why? Because of my sin. That is Adamic nature. You see? No abiding peace. That's why a lot of people don't have peace. Listen, I hear people saying, no, you know, I feel so lonely. What lonely? You have divorced yourself from what you call agreement. The two shall become one. And so no abiding peace. And so when it comes to deliverance from the power of sin, it has to do with your life. You see, once I have received forgiveness of sins, then I'm going to make a new discovery. What is the discovery? The discovery of sin. That is how life is. So there's something wrong within, right? Hmm? There's something wrong within. You see, at times... People come to me and then they make statements and I, 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 I normally, listen, if you make up your mind that you are going to accept this brother, you are going to accept this sister. You see, that is what it is. The brother and the sister is going to come, I mean, to your, let me put it, that, to your small world with all this luggage, right? And so expect that that aspect of sin, you know, it will be there will be a rebirth. Today he did something different. He apologized. Tomorrow, it will, so you are accepting with a whole lot of baggage, and so be prepared to be at least temporary a sanitation officer, right? Yeah, that's how it is. So you don't need to complain to anybody. That's, that's also a part of the uh, Christian sacrifice. And that's what Jesus even did to us. He accepted us as we are. <laughs> you see? So there's something within. So, so there's a nature within me. Even Paul said it. He says, the good that I want to do, I can't do it. But always the best of that. So there's an inward inclination to sin a power within that draws to sin and when that power is i mean breaks out then i commit sins so there's a difference between sin and sin though the sin is within me that is the adamic nature and when it breaks forth then the fruit comes sometimes it's not good to attack people when they are sinning i mean when when you see the fruits rather you, you need to tackle the sin as i the adamic nature in them with the word of God. But then, when that power breaks out, I commit sin. So I may seek and receive forgiveness, but then I sin once more. So life goes on. I call this visual, I'm a visual circle of sinning again and again. And you'll be forgiven. And then sinning again. And at times, I appreciate the blessed fact that 
God's forgiveness is there for me. But more than that, I want something more than that. I want deliverance. Deliverance. See, in this, in this aspect, deliverance is not um, calling somebody to pray for the person. But deliverance here is also counseling. You counsel the person. You sit the person down and you tell the person, you know what? This is what has happened. Say, what can I do? And then you start helping the person to come out from that power. Power. And you normally do it with the word of God. Yes, I need forgiveness for what I've done, but I need also deliverance for what I am. I need. You have done something, but who are you? Listen, the vocation of a teacher is teaching, right? The vocation of uh, a thief is stealing, right? <laughs> when you take away the vocation of the teacher, eh? will you teach? Who will teach? So these are the examples of the deliverance and forgiveness. So one deals with the blood of Jesus. That is the teaching. That is the blood. All right? Huh? But who the teacher is, is the cross. You have to kneel it. Bam! And that is where the battle begins. The other day, somebody said, oh, we have a lot of uh, video files over here. A lot of them. You know, you see all those tall buildings. They are in there. And so one night, one of them came out and was behaving, and they were saying, hey, 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 and the, the guy started running away. You see? He's in prison. But do you think the thing is gone? So that is what it is. And that is why we need to keep coming to Christ. We need to keep coming to the cross. We need to keep coming so that the blood of Jesus will ooze from Emmanuel's veins and fall on us while at the same time allowing the flesh to be crucified. God's dual remedy, the blood and the cross. The blood deals with what we have done, whereas the cross deals with what we are. The blood disposes our sin, yes, while the cross strikes at the root of our capacity to sin. Man has got the capacity to sin. Man has got capacity. Nipo capacity at the yaka. Hey! The capacity. And that capacity must be taken away. Bow your eyes now. Begin to thank the Lord. Begin to thank Him. Begin to thank Him. The Lord is so good. Just thank Him. Keep thanking him. And just whisper to him. Keep whispering to him. Keep whispering to him. You see, there's something that the Lord has laid upon your heart. So keep whispering to him. It's about your life. The Lord is preparing us. The Lord is preparing us for the seven-day retreat. This is the beginning of things to come. So ask the Lord to give you strength. We are in challenging times. We are in a crisis time. Both personal, community wise. Even in our neighborhoods. Ask the living God to prepare you. There are a lot of challenges ahead. But God is so good. He will take care of you. He will never, never let me down. I will give God I say my life 
I say, I will give God my lifetime. My lifetime, He will take care of me. Oh, He will never, never let me down. My sister, I don't care the tensions, the frustrations. All I know is that, oh, I see, if I give God my life. I don't care the failures, the challenges. Oh, I know that God will take care of you. Oh, He will never, never let me down. Oh, I will give God my life. Heavenly Father, we thank you. We join with the songwriter and the Lord. All that we have heard, we've made a decision to give our life to you again. We pray that with our life in your hands, we know that you'll be able to take care of it until the appointed time. We give you all the glory and honor for blessing us in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah.